You may have heard this term, evidence-based medicine. Uh, that means doing things not based on, oh, in my experience, that works better, or I've been taught to do it this way, but based on what the best available evidence, scientific evidence, tells us. But evidence-based medicine is not just about the papers and the research. It has three pillars. One of them is that research. One is the doctor's experience and the other one, which is probably the most important, not probably, definitely the most important pillar, is the patient, the patient's expectation, their understanding of their condition and their wishes. When it comes to endometriosis, unfortunately, uh, the research is lacking in many of the aspects of, uh, of uh, um, a treatment, particularly when it comes to surgical treatment. And uh, in many cases, the best available evidence we have comes from large series as opposed to randomized controlled trials, which is uh, considered the highest level of uh, evidence. But it's really important for the endometriosis surgeon to put together these three pillars, uh, what they are good at and what their experience tells them, what is the research and what's the latest evidence and the best available evidence, and what does that patient in front of us want? Um, I always say that we don't treat the nodule, we don't treat the endometriosis, we treat the patient. So the patient is not an endometriotic nodule with uh, some person around it. It is a person with, um, um, with um, problems they wish to solve uh, who happen to have endometriosis, which may be the cause of the problem. So that's how we... Um, uh, practice evidence-based medicine in endometriosis.